Hi everyone, welcome to another informative video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to discuss 10 important multiple choice questions. These questions are very important for the pharmacist who is preparing for government pharmacist exam or other pharmacist competitive exam. So if you are interested, subscribe this channel, like this video and let's begin. The first question of this video is the color of TAs changes with the use of the color of TAs changes with the use of options are option A bleomycin, option B tetracycline, option C ferrous sulfate, option D rifamycin. Okay, now it's your time to opt the answer. 10 second time is there for opting the answer. Now the question was the color of TAs changes with the use of. The correct answer for this question is option D rifamycin. Rifamycin can change the color of tears. Rifamycin has an adverse effect of orange red coloration of the body fluids like saliva, tears, then sweat and urine. Okay, it can cause orange red coloration of body fluids such as urine, saliva, sweat and tears. The major adverse effect of rifamycin is hepatitis. Okay, hepatitis is the major adverse effect of rifamycin. Now the option B, tetracycline. We can use a code for studying the adverse effect of tetracycline. A simple code that is Kabil Dev, the Indian all-rounder. Okay, Kabil Dev. In this K represent kidney failure. Okay, a kidney failure. All tetracyclines are contraindicated during kidney failure except doxycycline. Doxycycline can be used during the kidney failure also. Why? Because doxycycline is excreted in feces. That's the reason why it is not contraindicated in kidney failure. So K represent kidney failure. Next letter of Kapil Dev is a that is anti-anabolic effect or catabolic effect tetracycline can cause anti-anabolic effect next letter p p represent photosensitivity photosensitivity is maximum with the demiclocycline okay demiclocycline can cause highest photosensitivity in tetracycline Next one is I that represent insipidus or you can say diabetes insipidus. Okay, this diabetes insipidus is also maximum with the demicrocycline. Next letter is L. L represent liver toxicity. Now we studied Kabil. The next one is Dev. D represent dental and bone defect. Dental and bone defect. It can cause tetracycline can cause discoloration or brown coloration of teeth. So this color is permanent. So it is contraindicated in children and pregnant women. Tetracycline is completely contraindicated in pregnant women and in children below 8 years. Next one is E. E represent expired tetracycline can cause Fangonis syndrome. In the Kabil Dev, second last letter E represent expired tetracycline can cause Fangonis syndrome. The last letter V represent vestibular toxicity. Vestibular toxicity. It is maximum with the minocycline. Minocycline. Okay. Now I think you know all the things. The code is Kabil Dev. K represent kidney failure. A represent anti anabolic effect. P represent photosensitivity, I represent insipidus or diabetes insipidus, then L represent liver toxicity, D represent dental and bone defect, E represent expired drug or expired tetracycline can cause uh, Fangonis syndrome, then V represent vestibular toxicity. This is the code for studying adverse effect of tetracycline. Next question, question number two. The air velocity of laminar flow will be about. The air velocity of laminar flow will be about. Options are 100 foot per minute. Option B, 200 foot per minute. Option C, 50 foot per minute. Then the last option, option D, 150 foot per minute. Now you can write your answer. 
each correct answer carries plus one mark after this 10 question you can write your mark total marks in the comment section okay don't forget to comment your total score now the correct answer for this question is option a that is 100 foot per minute okay 100 foot per minute is the air velocity of laminar flow when we are talking regarding the meter per second suppose this one option given in the foot per minute if it is given in the meter per second then you have to opt for 0.5 meter per second so the air velocity of laminar flow will be about 100 foot per minute or 0.5 meter per second hope you got it now we are moving to the next question question number three the question is phenobarbitone sodium belongs to phenobarbitone sodium belongs to options are option a schedule x option b schedule r then the third option schedule o then the last option is schedule y phenobarbitone sodium is belongs to which schedule according to the drug and cosmetic act now you can select your answer the correct answer for this question is option a schedule x phenobarbitone is coming under schedule x drug what is schedule x schedule x is the list of narcotic and psychotropic substance according to the drug and cosmetic act schedule x is list of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substance now we can study a little more about schedule x the symbol x r x should be there in red color on the left hand corner in the label okay the label of the tablet or label of the packet of the tablet itself it should contain xrx letter and it should be in the red color and it should be in the left hand corner the next point regarding the schedule x drug is once the schedule x drug is dispensed the pharmacist should stamp the prescription and he should retain the prescription for almost two years for two years he should keep and another important point is he should maintain or the pharmacist should maintain and record the sale and purchase of schedule x drugs and he should keep this detail for two years from the transaction date okay these are the important points regarding schedule x now we will see some example for the drugs now in the question itself there is a phenobarbitone which is coming under schedule x drug another drugs coming under this category are barbiturates example is pendobarbital then secobarbital then cns stimulant amphetamine methamphetamine then hypnotic example is glutathione okay hope you got it now the second option that is schedule r schedule r is the standard for mechanical contraceptives schedule o is standard for disinfectant fluid schedule y is related to clinical trial hope you understood this one schedule r is standards for mechanical contraceptive schedule o is standards for disinfectant fluid schedule y is related to clinical trial now we are moving to the next question question number four a quaternary ammonium antiseptic is a quaternary ammonium antiseptic options are option a detol option b lysol option c iodine option d the citramide a quaternary ammonium antiseptic now you can write your answer the correct answer for this question is option d citrimide citrimide is the correct answer for this question a quaternary ammonium antiseptic example is citrimide next question question number five a polymeric condensation product of aluminium oxide and aspirin is a polymeric condensation product of aluminium oxide and aspirin is options are benorylate option b aloxiprin option c choline salicylate option d salicylate now you can write your answer it is the condensation product of aluminium oxide and aspirin the correct answer for this question is option b aloxiprin aloxiprin is the 
correct answer. Aloxyprine is coming under NSAID that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug as like aspirin. Another important point regarding the aloxyprine is it is less liable to cause gastric irritation than aspirin. Aspirin we know that it will cause uh, gastric irritation but aloxyprin will not cause that much of gastric irritation okay now the option a benorylate benorylate is a mutual product of aspirin and paracetamol okay benorylate is a mutual product of aspirin and paracetamol now we are moving to the next question question number six vegan is a what is vegan vegan is a options are option a synthetic gum Option B, organic gum. Option C, clay. Option D, non-ionic surfactant. Okay, now you can write your answer. V gum is it. The correct answer for this question is option C, that is clay. V gum is a clay. Okay, V gum is used as a stabilizer in emulsions and suspension it is used as suspension stabilizer or emulsion stabilizer okay it can be used as suspension and emulsion stabilizer now we are moving to the next question question number seven the first cervical vertebra is called the first cervical vertebra is options are option a atlas option b axis option c thoracic option d lumbar the first cervical vertebrae the first cervical vertebra now you can write your answer it is a simple question the correct answer for this question is option a atlas the first cervical vertebra is called or it is known as atlas what is axis axis is second vertebrae okay second cervical vertebrae okay c1 is atlas c2 is axis okay we have 33 vertebrae in our vertebral column in this first seven are cervical c1 to c7 then uh, thoracic is coming thoracic region that is t1 to t12 12 thoracic vertebrae are there then th after thoracic lumbar region five lumbar vertebrae then sacrum it is composed of five vertebrae which is fused coccyx is composed of uh, four vertebrae okay that means c7 then t12 then uh, l5 then s5 then uh, coccyx c4 okay these are the 33 vertebrae in our vertebral column okay hope you got it now we are moving to the next question question number eight arginia contains arginia contains that is arginia maritima we studied this one in the pharmacognosy so arginia contains option a androquinone derivative option b cardiac glycoside option c alkaloids option d proteins arginia contain now you can write your answer the correct answer for this question is arginia maritima contains cardiac glycoside cardiac glycoside it is also known as squid the common name for arginia is squid okay now the question number nine substance used in swimming pool substance used in swimming pools to prevent the growth of algae and snails options are copper sulfate option b zinc sulfate option c sodium sulfate and the last option that is ammonium chloride the substance which is used in the swimming pool to prevent the growth of algae and snails the correct answer for this question is option a that is copper sulfate copper sulfate can be used in swimming pools to prevent the growth of algae and snails question number 10 the last question of this video the material removed by the upper punch from the surface of the tablet is called the material removed by upper punch from the surface of tablet is options are capping option b picking option c lamination option d mottling this is related to tablet defects now you can write your answer 
this is an important area where the questions are regularly coming the correct answer for this question is option b picking picking the material is removed by upper punch from the surface of a tablet is picking so what is capping capping is partial or complete removal of top or bottom portion of the tablet capping is partial or complete removal of top or bottom of the tablet that is called capping that defect is capping so what is lamination lamination is separation of a tablet into two or more distinct layers it is converted into two or more distinct layers complete layers okay one tablet is completely separated into two or three layers two or more layers but in the capping there is no layers there just partial or complete removal of top or bottom or of the tablet that is called capping so picking was the correct answer here then the last one that is modeling modeling is unequal color distribution okay modeling refers to unequal color distribution hope you understood these questions thank you very much for watching this video here is the bonus question what is schedule ff what is schedule ff you can write the answer of this bonus question in the comment section uh, i will be checking the comments okay and don't forget to mention your score also in the comments thank you